Hello friends, welcome back to the ASP.NET Core video tutorial. This is Infolog's channel where you can find all the tutorials related to programming languages. In today's video tutorial, we are going to see how we can log uh, all the information into the file. In our previous video tutorial, we have seen how we can uh, we have seen how we can uh, log. Uh, the information traces errors on the uh, output window as well as on the console window okay in in the, um, the previous videos we have also discussed about the uh, data core logins and the providers as well as the uh, built-in providers and the third-party providers in today's video tutorial we are going to see uh, how we can use the third-party uh, logger service called and log to write a file uh, for our logs so let's jump to the asp.net visual studio so not asp.net visual studio it's just visual studio right so here what i'll do i'll add a third party package called nlog for that i have already loaded that page uh, nlog.web.asp.net core okay so current version is 4.1.0 and here i'll okay there are two ways to add the packages to your project just go for the console manager and type all these uh, command to the uh, tools and uh, then uh, no get package manager and then no get packager package manager console okay it will bring up the window doc it's initializing okay so just put the commands over here and hit enter and uh, the other way is I'll just go to the project and then uh, manage no kit packages it will bring up the new window and uh, search for the n log so it will display the n log this one and uh, okay but before adding to your project please check uh, whether it supports for the asp.net core or not this is for the dotnet framework so what i'll write uh, n log asp.net core this one n log web.asp.net core so now here we can see the supported platforms is .NET Core and is .NET Core 3.0. Okay, so the current version is 4.0. Now click on install. So it will took some time to download all this information and uh, include it into your project. okay so just click on the okay okay so now it's added so how we can check that just go to your project and log.web.asp.net core 4.9.0 it's already added to your project now what i'll do we have already put some uh, included the logger services that is logged into the uh, output window okay so let's do one thing so we have here some few things so one thing i would like to show before starting okay to configure the n log we have to need to include some uh, configuration section to our to our project so for the configuration section we have here and for the interest of time I will just copy all this stuff and a standalone file I will create an nlog.config file in our into the my root project so I will create a file 
let's add a text file and call it nlog.config okay and paste all that configuration so here I wanted a file all log I'll name it as all logs okay and uh, the creation type is file and the file name is file dash short date dot txt and I'll add a rule that I wanted all the trace and write it into the this all logs file okay so now the configuration is done and the next thing is in our program.cs okay you can go ahead and uh, start, uh, in our uh, startup.cs you can add the end log services over here or also you can inject that service over here and log and log okay so we'll create a private field for that and log and uh, that will be initialized by n log and the type will be n log okay so we have included that I made a mistake this is not a service okay so I remove the changes and also remove the changes that we have included in the default controller okay so here uh, we have configured all the stuff so uh, go for the program.cs um, if you if you notice uh, all the uh, login related information is uh, taken from the uh, app development dot uh, json file right so whatever we configured over there it will automatically collect uh, this method from the uh, that uh, json file and uh, provide all this information so how what are the codes written in the create default builder method let's see that into the official uh, repository of ASP.NET Core. So ASP.NET Core GitHub. So just open up this. And another, oops. Under the ASP.NET Core, uh, let's go to the SRC and find that method create default builder. Okay, all these uh, SRC related information is over there. That's why uh, I know where it uh, locates. So you know, you have to search it uh, manually. Okay, so under the root, go for the SRC. So here you'll find a default builder folder. Under the SRC, you'll see the web host class. Okay, under that web host class, uh, we'll find the method called create default builder okay and under that method create default builder uh, we have a configure login services which took and login sorry add console debug and event source logger these are the three built-in services provided by the sp.net core and now we wanted to add one more 
to our project. So what I'll do, I'll copy this section and override over here. Okay. And in that, we'll include one service called login dot add and and log. and log so just include the and log extension methods now it's included okay so now it's available as a provider to access all the stuff and we have also already configured the and log file and we wanted to write all that into the file dash dollar short date dot txt okay and uh, whenever you publish this application uh, this analog file should be uh, copy to the output directory so we have already written it as copy if never okay so now just run this application and let's test whether we are getting this file or not Okay, so here we'll try to access the API slash default and let's check whether we are getting the where is our output window open up view uh, other windows Just a second, I'm finding code definition this way. Okay, the warning warning log is uh, written. But under the uh, configuration, we are saying we need a trace uh, kind of log. So this file dash current date dot txt will create, and uh, that should be available under the this one. Okay, file dash. 2021-25 okay we should double click it it will showing us that we have a warning with the state and uh, on the default controller and the message okay and now what I'll do I'll include but I'm not include what I'll do, I'll upgrade okay so now it's stopped I'll open up the development file and also wanted to tell that I need information related logs and also from Microsoft category it should be trace okay so now I'll stop it and run it again so now let's see uh, what happened to that file api slash default okay so I'll go ahead back to that folder 2.1 and this file now it's a 17 KB oops lot of information out there okay so what I'll do, I'll just reduce the font so we get that information in a single line. Right? So we have a date, we have a type, whether it's warning, keyword related, information related, and uh, who is calling it from the default controller, from the host file, okay? and uh, uh, 
the data is whatever the information is over the computer so this can be helpful for the tracing uh, the any unhandled exception or anything related to that okay if you wanted to create this file on a particular location you can just put the uh, what say the path of uh, the file over here okay yeah this way we can add uh, we can put all the logs uh, of traces information logs errors into the file using a third party uh, nuket package is called nlog thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, just put that uh, into the comment section i'll definitely answer all the questions uh, of yours and uh, if you wanted to learn more things or more different languages uh, whether it's for mobile it's for web php desktop okay just go on the uh, www.youtube.com slash web boostings okay uh, or you can go ahead and search uh, the channel called info logs where you will find all these tutorials and if you want to don't go for the youtube just visit our website called infologs.in all the videos are available over here with the appropriate articles okay let's for example i wanted to learn the dependency injection the most important point in ASP.NET core just go ahead the article and here you will see the code as well as uh, the examples and the videos okay so just go ahead and uh, this is the one uh, stop place where you can find everything to learn okay so just keep learning never stop learning thank you for watching bye bye